Can I tell you a sidebar thing we should do? Yeah, sure. Get into coaching? No. What? I think you're going to like this. Okay. Soft pair. Soft pitch. I'm fucking hammered. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce our newest venture. Our newest venture. Okay. You're going to fucking love this. Okay. It's called Two Bears, One Coach. We sit down with college coaches, professional coaches, and we interview them about kind of like the way Rogan interviews Goggins and those guys. Yeah. And we sit down with all these coaches. We do like... Take like a month out of the summer when all these guys are off and we bang them out. We do a bunch of them. By the way, what is more exciting than Deion Sanders coaching at Colorado? That's now? what made me think of it. That's what made me fucking think of it. Do That's what made me fucking think of it. Understand. It's the greatest. Coach Prime, did you see him get off the jet with the welcome bag? Yeah, but like, yes. And 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 I I, I think people are going to honestly underestimate what this guy could do there. That game, like college football really is predicated on the players you can get. Yeah. To like there's 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 programs that you just you cannot compete if you don't have the top tier guys. Dude, I would put my money on him closing out on a recruit a hundred out of a hundred times. If you told me Saban's going in there, Meyer's going in there, Kelly like whoever you got and I and then you're like and then Dion's gonna go in that house I'd be like my money's on Dion Dude, every we, we single sit down, time we sit down every week it's a side project it's shot differently yeah we sit down every week we'll release a new interview with a college coach it doesn't we don't have to get everyone yeah no we get Saban we get Prime we can be definitely get Dion we could well, I did I had Dion on a podcast so I, I would oh, love to real? do yeah 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 I had him on Tom Talks Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We get, but but we what we you do always is say, we Tom talks, Tom talks. <laughs> <laughs> but but we uh, but we sit down with them because I love. I want Jimmy Johnson's my big great white shark. That might not go well with me. Why he blocked me? You are such I, a frustrating business partner. I insinuated, I insinuated, because I thought it was true. I'll okay. say that. Okay. So I said it was allegedly, and I wasn't <laughs> sure. There was a video of a man that looked like him getting his ass eaten and fingered by a younger girl. And I said, Coach, is this you? And he blocked me. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson? Yeah. Jimmy Johnson has the best quotes. Coaching Oh, I quotes. love him as a coach, and I fucked coaching it up. Coaching quotes. Coaching quotes. We, we, we fix it, man. This is why we have Sorry, the podcast. Sorry, Coach. Two Bears, One Coach. We sit down with these great coaches, and we basically all we want is coaching from them. Meaning, meaning, like, <clears throat> I don't want to know your history. I don't want to know your past. I want to know the greatest lessons you learn from your great coaches. Yeah, the greatest lessons you learn in life. It's a, it's a, it's a TED talk. And he's he's phenomenal. Jimmy Johnson is phenomenal. Yeah, dude, I'm obsessed with great coaches. It's the I Peloton. Just, I saw I, the, you know, I, I had, thought it was him, man. It was he was laying on his on his he was on all fours, <laughs> and he. <laughs> Why would it be him, Tom? <laughs> I don't know. I My saw great it. white shark, you just fucking harpooned. I, 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 <clears throat> we'll get, we, I believe that it's not you. I am Coach sorry. Coach Johnson, I asked. we're sorry. And we'll we'll yeah. get Prime. God damn we'll, it. We'll get uh, Michael Irving to talk. Uh, get us in. Uh, oh, uh, Warren. Warren. Warren, yeah. The uh, I just love the insight coaches have. <laughs> Oh, Tom, this is so much. You so soft pitch that. Well, I, I was pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, actually, I'm. I was still team. congratulating him on his uh, induction into the Hall of Fame. <sighs> he doesn't run his media. He what? He doesn't run his social media. I think we can get past that. You think so? Yeah, but, but that's what we do. We do two bears, one coach. We sit down with great college coaches. Great, I love it. Great I love pro. it. Yeah, and we and all we want. The thing I love when I, when you watch like uh, like NFL does uh, NFL Network does um, a football life and and they did one on Jimmy Johnson. It's so fucking good. He played at uh, where is it Arkansas or Oklahoma? Yeah, I think. Where did Jimmy Johnson play football? I want to say it's one of those schools. Maybe he played at Oklahoma. Am I wrong about that? Arkansas, I was right. Yeah. But his the the quotes he has in there, mm -hmm. if like if you're watching it, you're like, God damn it, man, these quotes are fucking. But there's, the, I I think and he was a what, players coach too, which is fun. He was the one who was like, you know, there's there's coaches that are right, like top, generals in the top army. ten coaches for the first ten episodes. Top ten coaches, Bobby Knight. 
Oh my god! Yeah, right, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby Knight. Yeah. Who else are we getting? Um. Well, we definitely want to get Prime on again. I mean, we got to talk to him. Uh, he's the thing about him is that I, like this sounds so so crazy to say. And that's it's not a real statement, but it's real. Yeah. I'm so proud of him because I grew up in Florida and he was my guy as a defensive end. And I watched him blow up to watch his career get to where he is right now, which is so hard. So many players don't get to coach high level programs like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm so excited for him. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I'm excited for him. Yeah, it's exciting. It's I'm, exciting. I'm really, it breaks my heart that my goddamn daughter didn't go to fucking University of Colorado. Dude, make her transfer. Yeah. You well, pay Yale, the fucking she's, bills. Yale is, uh, Yale's, fucking transfer program it's not good anyway um <laughs> the uh but like uh, I, but I, I i but i, I well i want to get like there's some crazy like winning guy like i would love to talk with shashevsky because oh oh fuck like, yes that, that career type is in, crazy type in the, the top <laughs> 10 how, coaches look how he spelled <laughs> uh good luck uh, um I would say I want to talk to Lane Kiffin because I think his story is fascinating. Oh, Tom, um, you know, we're famous enough. We could get these people. Maybe. I don't know. Um, he's a, he's also like, he's, he's been through some shit, but it's also, he's fun. And I, and he's, and, and he has a really fascinating career story. Yeah. Um, I would want three, to talk well, Lane Kiffin has, Lane Kiffin has three word message for his old Miss players after Alabama game. Let's see it. Let's what see what it, it is. Click that. On crushing loss, it was not long ago. Let's see, what is it? Shouldn't be a long article. It's just three words. Despite falling thirty twenty four. Okay, scroll. Scroll. <laughs> I don't give a shit how many words we had, yards we had, or how many points we scored. The head coach that we came to win and we didn't. Today we are zero and one. Okay, that's that was what he yeah. said. Okay. Um. Um. Type in top ten coaches because in I, what sport? Give him, no, I don't. I it doesn't. I, by the way, I don't. I don't need it to be football. I just want a great coach. Yeah, I got you. I, oh, I, agree. I, I love. And by the way, I, I really think that's like a TED talk. How fun would it be to talk to Phil Jackson? Can I tell you this is where my idea started? I'm so sorry. Yeah, my idea started right here with Phil Jackson. I swear to God. I swear to God. So I'm watching. Okay. This is how this idea came about. About, so I'm watching. Uh, we can talk to Belichick and go, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he's a good quarterback. So I'm watching a thing on Jordan, and he's talking about uh, uh, Phil Jackson, and everyone's talking about Phil Jackson, and I thought to myself, how much would it cost to have Phil Jackson like David Goggins did with Jesse uh, uh, Caesar, Schweitzer, Caesar? I don't, know, I don't know how to say his last name. Who? Jesse. His name's Jesse. He's married to fucking the chick from Spanx. But he okay. had David Goggins live with him for a month, a Navy SEAL. Right. And it changed his life. Transformed his life. I was like, I wonder how much it would cost to have Phil Jackson live with me for a month. I would it love cost that you film. a lot. Yeah, it would be way more than I can afford. Well, you but, can afford it, but it would be like a real fucking... But would it... Would it and I'd have to accept it, right? I'd have to accept it. I'd have to take it in. And then I was like, what if I just did a podcast with Phil Jackson? I go, well... I'm not a good listener. I'm, I'm not like I, I like like, well, but if I'm with you, I can hear things differently. Mm -hmm. So like I can pay attention yeah. differently if you're around, but like, if it's just me and Phil Jackson, I'm going to tell him a fucking machine story. <laughs> I mean, cause that's the way my brain works. You know that though. Yeah. Is that my, my brain is like, I'm so, I, I, I want to make everyone happy. I want to make everyone pleased. And so if I, if there's a tension in the thing, so then I was like, I was like, what if Tom and I did it and we sat down with coaches? That'd be fun. So we got Phil Jackson. Here's our goals, everyone. If you could tag them in this, and then Phil Jackson, Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy John, Jimmy Johnson, hardcore, I'm trying to. Oh, I he's got. He just. Uh, he's got to forgive us. Me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Coach Prime, Bobby Knight. Um, I'd want to talk to. Um, Mike Tomlin, I think that would be a fun one to talk oh, to. Oh, fuck, yeah. You know, it's just like legacy, story, being like a third coach in like 70 years for one organization. I think that would be fascinating to talk to. What about, um, I would like to talk, I would really like to talk to um, fucking, I'm, I can't say, I, I can't even whittle it down because it's going to sound bad, but uh, uh, Dominican coach, uh, baseball coach, 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Never mind. Just okay. But but like but like I, I'm thinking of a guy and I can't say his name right yeah, now. Yeah, okay. But he's coaches in the in major in major leagues. But I want to know coaching from uh like in a in the, the Latin American countries. I want to oh, talk right. to that because that would be cool. Soccer coach would be cool. Uh yeah, like Pep. What's that guy's name? Pep. Right? Is that the guy that coached at Barcelona? Yeah. What's his name? Pep what? Um, I'm forgetting his last name. Yeah. There he is. That dude. Yeah. Yeah. Because the thing the thing they can do, the thing that this podcast will offer, we release it on... When, when do you release your mom's house? We, it's every Wednesday. We release ours on Sunday. Mm. Release it on Sundays. Release it on Sundays. And this is basically it's a te- it's a motivational speech for your week for your week get your week going I like it I like started. it Bert I like it a lot Two Coach Pep coach. coach Pep put him down and we fly to these places we hang out with the coach we do uh, do I mean it's got to be like here's the thing coaches are weird so they're gonna be like all right how much time do you have this we need yeah, to get yeah. to know them a little bit. oh you got to put Saban on there oh fuck yeah yeah we should do uh, dead coaches too. Oh, uh, they're not as fun to talk to. <laughs> yeah, I would love to talk to like fucking Coach Tom Popovich is just down the street. He's in San Antonio. No way. Yeah. For real? Greg Popovich? Yeah, he's been with the Spurs for like 50 fucking years. Yeah. All right, we got 10 coaches. I said we it's launched nine, it. But okay. We do it. I said we line it up. Do it over the summer. Nadav, get them all booked by tomorrow. Bert and Tom. Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.